kaiju fans and kaiju collectors this is thomas here and today we have a double quick review and the first figure is the 1999 30 centimeter gamma figure by x plus and the second figure is the 25 centimeter godzilla from the 2021 film so i actually already unboxed these last week but i want to show you the box really quick the first box here is the uh godzilla 2021 pretty standard stuff so here is the box and second here is the gamma 1999 the third movie of the trilogy with a nice color art in the front pretty basic stuff let's get this out of the way i already took the figure out here is the 2021 godzilla i think he looks fantastic so there he is, and the other figure is the 1999 Gamera. I actually reversed the order, but that's okay. This is a 30 centimeter, looks, looks really good as well. So there we are side by side, and let's get some close-ups and a little bit more info on these guys. All right, here is the X Plus Large Monster Series Godzilla 2021. And this is actually a tall 25 centimeter figure coming in at 26 centimeters. And he is about 39 centimeters in length. And this particular guy is the Rick version with the light up fins, eyes, and mouth, which I will show a little bit later. And this guy has really fantastic details and a fair amount of highlights and and colors a little bit hard to see here but I do notice also that this Godzilla has a larger head compared to the 2019 also this guy has an open mouth and that also gives the the impression that his skull is larger but I did compare these two briefly and I think X plus did address the issue of the skull size and I think they did a pretty good job here I think it's it gives a feeling of, of balance. Here's a shot of his really awesome dorsal plates. You'll notice there's a little subtle bit of blue on there. And that no doubt will look great when it's lit up later on. His tail looks fantastic. Has a little bit of a, a little bit of a curve. And all the way to the end, it looks very well done. X plus. I think they knocked it out of the park with this guy. And if you guys didn't get the 2019, I think this one here is, is an excellent choice. I think they actually improved upon the, tw the 2019 version. So up next, we're going to go ahead and go with the Gamera 1999 figure. This is the 30 centimeter Rick version number two. And... I gotta say he looks fantastic. I was surprised that this was issued, but you just never know with X Plus when you think they're never gonna release something, then boom, here is the version number two and lots of people were happy. And I have the the previous 99 version and I thought that one was, was outstanding. This guy matches right with it and he has enough differences. So if you actually have both, I think it's still still great and if you have the previous version I think that one is fine it does have the damage on his chest and also it comes with that uh, plasma fist the burning fist brandishing fist I'm not exactly sure what it's called but but it's pretty pretty awesome this one here I think it's fine even though you don't have that part still looks great to me I think they did some possible improvements on on the sculpt here I don't think you're missing out too much. Here's a little better shot of his side of his shell. You can see that it does have good textures on there. I'm not sure if you can make out some of the color variations, but, but it definitely is there. And we're going to go ahead and get a picture of the top of his shell. Looks good. You can see that there's some little darker areas. So that's good. I know some folks may have complained that the previous paint was a little bit flat there goes that 
that tusk or horn back there. Looks great to me so far. And he's got he's got a pretty good pretty good uh expression too. Here's a close up of his head and his teeth. They definitely colored up the mouth inside. And he's got some nice ridges on top of his skull. And they also did a good job on his teeth. There goes that, that elbow thing. I guess you would call it more like a claw. Up next, of course, we got to have these guys side by side. The 99 Gamma Rick version number 2 versus the 25 centimeter 2021 Legendary Godzilla. Right here, they look like they're almost the same height. But being that Gamma is slightly hunched over, that's why it gives you the illusion they're about the same height. Gamma does seem to have a larger overall body size, so it doesn't quite scale. But this would make an awesome fantasy battle. I wonder if they're, they're ever going to come up with a Gamma versus Godzilla. I know everyone's been wanting that to happen. I think some of us have given up. It's two different Japanese companies. Now, if they could somehow put it together, whatever it takes, I think it'll be one of the biggest movies ever made at least in Toho and the other Japanese company. This makes an amazing sight of them facing off. I really wish it would happen in the near future. Up next we have our first size comparison and this is the Marmot 1962 standard size Safubi Godzilla figure. And he looks pretty neat. Comparison number two we have Actually, my first passion tank, Shin Godzilla. And I think that guy is just outstanding. Really great textures, colors, and detail. Really happy with that guy. And finally, the whole family together. The 2021 Godzilla, the passion tank, Shin Godzilla. The 99 Rick version number 2. Along with the Marmot Godzilla. As promised, here is the 2021 Godzilla lit up for you. You can see that his eye and his mouth is nicely lit up. And going down his back there. Surprisingly, they did a great job on the dorsal plates because I don't see any bleed through. Just nice and clean. So they did nice paint application along there. I'm very happy with that. So that actually concludes my review for both these outstanding figures i highly recommend them i have almost basically i have nothing negative to say of course someone will probably find something to nitpick on but i don't really see much i don't see what more they can do you know anything as far as the paint or details you know, it's, it's in the eye of the beholder i think these look fine as is i'm not quite as picky though but i think these guys are Really nice looking figures. So if you guys like this review, please like and subscribe so you guys don't miss any other future reviews. So stay tuned for more. Check us out on Kaiju Collectors on Facebook. Have a great day and catch you next time, guys. Bye-bye.